Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Love for Intuitive Astrology. This video is for everybody who have their sun, moon, or rising sign in Aquarius. And we're going to talk about the month of March 2023. And I'm almost starting to laugh because we're going to have this massive collective shift happening. And, you know, I made separate videos about it because Saturn is moving into the sign of Pisces on the 7th or 8th of March, depending on your location. And Pluto is moving into, yes, your sign on the 23rd of March. And this is a massive shift. So not only for the collective, but also for you personally, uh, Aquarius. Like literally, you're going to have a massive change happening and I don't want you to fear it I want you to embrace it so we're going to talk a little bit about that in the video as well so we're starting off this month with the sun in Pisces right and Pisces is going to conjunct Neptune uh, mid-month and also Neptune is going to square Mars in your fifth house okay so there might be a lot of money going out to your children also be aware of overspending okay <laughs> be aware of your money because you literally have the sun with neptune so you will create this euphoria where you want to spend money you want to give gifts to your children to your friends and then boom your money was slipping through your fingers okay and also we have now saturn moving into your second house so this will or could restrict your money, but it's also uh, the planet of responsibility. So uh, it's gonna come in and make you feel responsible for your spendings. Uh, it's gonna make you organize your money and also appreciate the money that you have, okay? Um, so this is not the time to not work. This is the time to uh, keep working and keep earning money because Saturn will reward the ones that um, are working hard, okay? <laughs> so we have a full moon in Virgo on the 7th of March, right? This is right around the time when Saturn is moving into the sign of Pisces. So this is quite major. And we have a lot of water and a lot of fire. So even though we have a full moon in Virgo, uh, it's not going to feel as Virgo-like as it could, right? But it is kind of time to organize your papers, your finances, uh, pay whatever. Maybe you get a fine or like some uh, bills you have to pay. So make sure you pay attention to when you pay it, uh, where you pay it and write it down because Neptune is going to create this fogginess and you're not sure where the money is going and what you've already paid or maybe you're forgetting to pay something okay and i know you're gonna think oh this video is boring well this is astrology this is life you know i get people for readings that want to hear that they are becoming the queen of uh, persia <laughs> do you know what i mean like some things are just uh, sometimes life is also about boring things right and sometimes you have a year where things uh, are different. And I'm not saying that's the case uh, with you, right? But this is just uh, a general ex uh, experience that, yeah, that I'm feeling. So, or that I'm having. And then we have Jupiter in the third house. So it's conjuncting Chiron, conjuncting Venus. So definitely if you had some issues with a sibling, this is the time to repair that. Uh, you're going to talk things through. It's going to be healed. But also the way you speak is going to be very influential. Like people really want to listen to you. So don't be shy to speak up right now or to to share some wisdom, right? Uh, maybe before you thought like, oh, what I'm saying, maybe that's weird. No, people are inspired to listen to you right now. And you're going to have more confidence about it, you know? Uh, so it could be that you're starting to do like public speaking or um, you're starting to teach something and people really going to appreciate you for that. So whereas before, maybe you thought like, hmm, is what I have to share 
Uh, good enough? Is it okay? You're gonna have more confidence. Some of you also are buying a car. Make sure all the parts are, are there, <laughs> that it's all good. Do a checkup. Uh, also a scooter, same thing. If you, but any transport you're buying, make sure to double check. But this is definitely a time where you might do that. Um, we have a new moon in the sign of Aries, right? So again, communication. So if you are a writer, good time to share. Maybe you're sharing some of your knowledge, sharing uh, a research that you've done, but there's something that you can share or maybe something you're studying, right? And you're sharing it just in your surroundings as well that can inspire other people, okay? So simply said, you have an inspirational voice at this time. Um, then there's Pluto moving into your sign, right? On the 23rd of March, major, major, major. Um, oh, before I forget, also the North Node is conjuncting Venus during this new moon in your fourth house. So it's maybe time to redecorate your place. Maybe you're getting a good offer on a house. You're selling a house. Or you're just spending time with your family, right? And it feels really good. Um, but definitely there's a part of destiny here, maybe working from home, uh, earning money through real estate for some of you. Yeah. Maybe you're doing uh, your uh, apartment or a house on Airbnb or something, right? Um, yeah, you're just less focused on like, you're more focused on your roots, like, you know, what's what matters to you and less about what other people think about you. You kind of let that go. You're going inward. What's ma what matters for me? What's most important to me? And, you know, uh, Aquarius, uh, especially the first degree, because Pluto is moving into your sign. So if you have birthday would probably be like end of January. So early birthday Aquarius, early degree Aquarius and early degree moon, like up to five degrees, you're going to be super influenced um, by Pluto moving into the sign. So you're going to experience a massive transformation. So everything, you will be confronted with parts of your shadow self. And sun, for example, is father. So shadow side when it comes to father. Moon is related to mother. And for example, I'm going through a transit now where my moon is squaring Pluto. And uh, I have a very difficult relationship with my mother. And always have. And this kind of like really have been going through this difficult time. And I know this is quite personal. But uh, yeah, a lot of things, a lot of secrets and suppressed feelings that I was hiding from childhood were coming to the surface. A lot of things I thought I kind of processed and was okay with, they came up and I was confronted with them again because they were not completely healed. So I had to face them. So it brings up uh, emotions or things come to the surface so you can heal it right so don't think you're going backwards that the things that are coming to you that they are there because you're not progressing in life uh, it's actually coming up because it's an opportunity for you to heal okay so at first I was a little bit in my victim mode like I did so much work and I'm I'm back to <laughs> zero but actually no I was having boundaries for the first time in my life I was having strong boundaries and I finally saw what it was that I had to do and I needed to cry about it a lot okay so this is what Pluto does it gets out most of it and you know what my skin started to clear up um, I, I'm, I'm seeing the positivity of what's happening. So let Pluto show you what it can do for you so you can stand into your own power, right? And power can be very strong when it's used for good. 
and you know it can be bad when it's used for the wrong okay but Pluto can take away then something and it will take away anything that doesn't suit you any longer. So if you were not happy about a job or not happy about a certain situation in your life, right? It could even be because it's ascendant that you feel like you want to lose weight or you want to gain weight. You're going to take action. So you will see like this, especially with ascendant, right? Massive transformations. And uh, yeah, same with sun sign, actually, that people change their looks. Uh, they're having a different routine and they want to come across in a different way, you know? So let me get the cards for you. So I hope I can give you a bit of encouragement that uh, it's not always bad to have Pluto there. It could be, I mean, it could change a lot of things, but don't shy away from it because it will make you only stronger younger man dealings with a younger man i don't know do some of you have a younger brother that maybe things have gotten a bit out of hand this is a message for someone i don't know someone who's watching have a difficult relationship with a younger brother and i feel there's something with substance substances okay um give this person space i'm hearing okay this really came true so this is i know this is for someone um, new opportunities, possibilities, and paths opening up. You see, one thing goes, other thing comes. This is what's happening right now and with, with what is going on. Yeah, I can't even speak anymore. Something important such as a new job or a race, right? Could be a change of job. Look at this bag, bag of money. So, right, uh, Saturn might restrict income but also it makes you work hard for it and appreciate it more march how weird is that come on this is a deck of 200 cards and i'm literally pulling out the month of march <laughs> this is a big month for you aquarius i mean what can i say what can i say buckle up <laughs> Get ready for the ride. Opportunities are waiting for you. So new doors are opening, literally. Okay? So let yourself be guided. We have water and we have fire. A lot of water and fire this month. So it's about enthusiasm and going with the flow. Water goes with the flow. Okay? Time to go out and have fun. So make sure in all the craziness that you also spend some time on enjoying yourself we are alive we are good so remind yourself that life is ups and, uh, ups and downs right and um don't feel guilt for having these emotions and uh you know you have your good friends to and that you find your good friends or people that will uh, help you heal Okay, so this is my message for you, my amazing Aquarius. Thank you so much for your love and support. And I wish you all the best. Bye-bye.